Robin Rihanna Fenty was born on February 20, 1988 in St. Michael Parish, Barbados. The eldest of three children born to Monica Fenty, an accountant, and Ronald Fenty, a warehouse supervisor. Rihanna's childhood was marred by her father's struggles with addictions to alcohol and crack cocaine and her parents' marital problems. They divorced when she was 14 years old. As a youth, Rihanna struggled with crippling headaches for several years, a condition she attempted to hide from her friends and classmates to not appear abnormal. She said, I never expressed how I felt. I always kept it in. I would go to school. You would never know there was something wrong with me. As a teenager, she turned to singing as a release from issues at home. She formed a girl group with two classmates when they were 15 years old. Eventually, they landed an audition with music producer Evan Rogers, who was visiting their island with his Barbadian wife. Rogers was awed by the precociously beautiful and talented Rihanna to the unfortunate detriment of her two friends. The minute Rihanna walked into the room, it was like the other girls didn't exist, he admitted. Less than a year later, when Rihanna was only 16, she left Barbados to move in with Rogers and his wife in Connecticut. Once there, she got right to work recording a demo album. She recalled, when I left Barbados, I didn't look back. I wanted to do what I had to do, even if it meant moving to America. Then she got a break. In January 2005, Rogers landed Rihanna an audition for Def Jam Records and its newly minted president, the legendary rapper Jay-Z. She reminisced, I was in the lobby just shaking. However, once Rihanna opened her voice to sing, she regained her composure. She recalls, I remember staring into everybody's eyes in the room while I was singing, and at that point, I was fearless. But the minute I stopped singing, I was like, oh my God, Jay-Z is sitting right in front of me. The hip hop icon was every bit as wild by Rihanna's commanding presence as Rogers had been two years earlier, and he signed her right on the spot. Her music career started only eight months after that. In August 2005, she released her first single, Ponder Replay, a reggae influenced club track that reached number two on the Billboard Singles Chart and announced Rihanna as the next up-and-coming pop star. Her first album, Music of the Sun, released later that month, and it reached number 10 on the Billboard Albums Chart and also featured the single, If It's Lovin' That You Want. Rihanna released her second album, A Girl Like Me, the next year, spawning two major hits in Unfaithful and S.O.S., Rihanna's first number one single. It wasn't until 2007, however, when Rihanna effected a transformation from cute teen pop princess to superstar and sex symbol with her third album, Good Girl Gone Bad. Fueled by its smashed hit lead single Umbrella featuring Jay-Z, he said, it shows so much growth for her as an artist. If you listen to the lyrics to that song, you know the depth and how far she's come. Her music career goes on. She released Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, and Hate That I Love You. And it was clear she was on a trajectory to really have a blossoming music career. Her music career continued on with her next album, Loud, which released in 2010. And it was once again a commercial success behind the songs What's My Name, Only Girl in the World, and SNM. Besides the laundry list of hit songs, Rihanna collaborated on a host of popular songs by other artists around the time, including Jay-Z's Run This Town, Eminem's Love The Way You Lie, Maroon's Five, If I Never See Your Face Again, and Kanye West's All Of The Lights. Her career continued on, and she released her sixth studio album, Talk That Talk, an album that included We Found Love, a track with DJ Calvin Harris that won the 2013 Grammy Award for Best Short Form music video. By this time, Rihanna is a full-blown music star. 
and she continued with another Grammy winning album, Unapologetic. Rihanna turned out such hits as a number one tune, Diamonds and Stay. Unapologetic was the first Rihanna album to hit number one on the pop charts. She also worked with Coldplay on the track Princess of China and the following year reached number one again with another Eminem collaboration, The Monster. Known for her sexually provocative imagery and wild style, Rihanna made headlines for the sheer dress she wore to the Council of Fashion Designers of America award ceremony in June 2014. She was there to receive the CFDA's Fashion Icon Award and told the crowd that fashion has always been my defense mechanism, according to Associated Press report. She acknowledged that there were some rules to fashion, but explained that rules are meant to be broken. Around that time, she made a bold professional move as well, and she switched from Def Jam's label to Jay-Z's Rock Nation. Her music career continued to thrive. In August 2015, NBC announced that Rihanna would be the key advisor on The Voice's ninth season. That same year, she contributed vocals to the single Four or Five Seconds, a collaboration with Wes and famed Beatle Paul McCartney, as well as releasing Be Better Have My Money, a tune inspired by court wranglings with her former manager that also featured a highly controversial violent music video. In 2015, Rihanna also became the first artist in history to have 100 million singles digitally downloaded and streamed. In late January 2016, she released a track of all tracks, Work, which was on the album Anti, her last album as of the submission of this video allowing Jay-Z's online streaming site title to exclusively feature the collection of tracks for a week. The gambit paid off for the struggling service, with 1 million trial subscribers joining title in less than a day to partake in a download promotion for Anti. The album's lead single, Work, featuring rapper Drake, earned two Grammy nominations. In 2017, Rihanna scored another number one hit as a featured artist on DJ Khaled's Wild Thoughts. She also forayed into Hollywood in the big screen. Rihanna co-starred in the sci-fi flick Battleship that released in 2012 and later voiced the lead character in the animated blockbuster Home. In 2017, Rihanna made recurring appearances in season five of Bates Motel and earned a prominent role in the science fiction flick Valerian in the City of, the, of a Thousand Planets that year, fans also got their first glimpse of the pop superstar alongside Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, and Anne Hathaway in trailers for Ocean 8, a female-led spinoff of the popular Ocean's Trilogy, which hit theaters in June 2018. The following spring, Rihanna co-starred with Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino, in the Amazon musical Guava Island. Even though Rihanna had been experiencing such great success in her career, in music and on the big screen. In 2009, Rihanna was the center of a media firestorm after a domestic violence incident in which her then boyfriend, Chris Brown, assaulted her before an award show. The incident sparked a huge public outpouring of support for Rihanna, and she became a spokesperson against domestic violence. This happened to me, she said in an interview with Diane Sawyer. It can happen to anyone. I put my guard up so hard, she said in a separate interview with the Rolling Stone. I didn't want people to see me cry. I didn't want people to feel bad for me. It was a very vulnerable time in my life and I refused to let that be the image. I wanted to see me, I wanted them to see me as fine. I'm tough. I put that up until it felt real. In 2012, Rihanna appeared to be reconnecting with Chris Brown the pair worked together on the song Birthday Cake released that year. Rihanna also spoke very candidly with Oprah Winfrey about her relationship with Brown that August. She told Oprah that Brown may have been the love of her life and she has developed a very close friendship with him. The two officially dated again for a time with Rihanna maintaining in a Rolling Stone interview that Brown had changed and any form of abuse would be unacceptable. In 2012, Rihanna launched the nonprofit Clara Lionel Foundation, named after her grandmother, which supports and funds education and early response programs around the world. For her philanthropic 
efforts, she was honored with the President's Award at the 2020 NAACP Image Awards. She has also made some headlines in her personal life, although often circumstances beyond her control. She first made the gossip column headlines in 2006 when rumors swirled that she was having an affair with her mentor Jay-Z, though she and Jay-Z dismissed such allegations as ridiculous. Later, she was romantically linked to billionaire Saudi businessman Hassan Jamil before their split was reported in early 2020. In late 2020, Rihanna began dating rapper ASAP Rocky, and in January 2022, it was revealed that the couple is expecting their first child. Then there was the birth of a fashion and beauty mogul. When Robin Fenty, known to the world as Rihanna, launched Fenty Beauty in 2017, she sought to create a cosmetics company that made women everywhere feel included. A perhaps unintended consequence, the beauty line has helped her enter one of the world's most exclusive ranks, billionaire. How did that happen? Rihanna is worth 1.7 billion, Forbes estimates, making her the wealthiest female musician in the world and second only to Oprah as the richest female entertainer. It's not her music that's made her so wealthy. The bulk of her fortune, an estimated 1.4 billion, comes from the value of Fenty Beauty, of which Forbes can now confirm she owns 50%. Much of the rest lies in her stake in her lingerie company, Savage Fenty, worth an estimated 270 million, and her earnings from her career as a chart-topping musician and actress. While Barbados-born Rihanna isn't the only celebrity to capitalize on her social media presence, she has 101 million followers on Instagram and 102 million on Twitter. To build a beauty brand, she is the most successful beauty entrepreneur to do so, and Fenty Beauty, which is a 50-50 joint venture, with French luxury goods conglomerate LVMH run by Bernard Arnault, the world's second richest person. Launched in 2017 with the goal of inclusivity, its products come in a diverse range of colors, foundation, and is offered in 50 shades, including harder to find darker shades for women of color and are modeled in its advertising by an equally diverse group of people. A lot of women felt there were no lines out there that catered to their skin tone. It was light, medium, medium, dark, and dark, says Shannon Coyne, co-founder of Consumer Products Consultancy of Blue Stock Advisors. We all know that's not reality. She was one of the first brands that came out and said, I want to speak to all of those different people. While cosmetic sales slow during the pandemic, beauty companies are worth as much as ever. Stocks of larger beauty conglomerates like Estee Lauder and L'Oreal have bounced back, reaching all-time highs and trading at impressive 7.5 or more times annual revenues. Meanwhile, independent brands like Beauty Counter and Charlotte Tilbury Inc. deals with investment firms earlier this year at billion dollar valuations. So what's the good news for Rihanna? Thanks to the impressive multiples at which beauty companies are trading, Fenty Beauty is worth a conservative 2.8 billion Forbes estimates. And all of the signs point to the company continuing to grow. In its annual report for 2020, LVMH said Fenty Skin, which launched last year, was off to a very promising start and generated unprecedented buzz, and that Fenty Beauty maintained its appeal as a premier makeup brand. In regards to Fenty, the only complaint some fans may have had about her career as a fashion and beauty mogul is it keeps her busy. The singer, who used to release an album almost every year, hasn't released a new album since 2016 Anti. And from a financial perspective, that may just be fine. She is creating a brand outside of herself. It's not just about Rihanna. Even if you don't like her music, she's created a real style in the fashion and beauty space. In conclusion, Rihanna has amassed an exorbitant amount of wealth and is in the prestige and elite level of billionaire because she has remained authentically herself through the years and she capitalized on an underserved market at the right time and put her impact on the world.